Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on using Capture One and variants. What's a variant? Okay, well, a variant is a variation of an image. This is something we use a huge amount because it enables you to take one picture, that's right, only one picture, and present that picture in a whole variety of ways. It might be super saturated, it might be cool, it might be warm, it might be black and white, it might be crazy cropping. It's really, really up to you. But the important thing is there's very little overhead in terms of memory, so it won't slow your machine down, and it gives your client and yourself choice. First up, picture of Ross, shot with gels, straight out of the camera, no modifications. Let's make some changes. So let's not touch this first one, but let's create a variant, okay? So I'm gonna right click uh, on here, and I'm gonna go new variant. Now, if we look at these two things on screen, you can see they are exactly the same, but that's a bit boring. So let's have a bit of a play. So here's my variant. And the first thing I want to do here is really saturate it up a lot more than it is. And let's bring in a little more brightness and a bit more contrast. And then let's drop the exposure down a little bit as well. And you can see already that's starting to look different, but it doesn't look different enough. Now I want to really move the color balance. Let's really cool this thing down so the skin goes really quite, quite blue. Okay, and then play around a little bit here with the tint. Something like that. That's, that's starting to look pretty nice. Probably a bit too far with the tint. Let's drop that back a bit. Okay, that's not bad at all. But this magenta on this side is just bothering me a little bit. You can see I've got the color editor tool open here. Let's just make a little selection there and take out what's going on. There we go. Okay, and you can see now we've got a very different look to what we started with. But let's go further. Let's punch some clarity in there. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. So real quick comparison. Image on the left is where we started. Image on the right is where we are now. It's the exact same image, but we just made a few color changes to it. Once again, it's part of the beauty of shooting raw. Also, for any of you boffins out there, this was shot on a um, phase one camera. I think it's the yeah, it's the 110 mil lens. You can see that, that metadata down here. Um, shot at 3.5. So very, very close to open, possibly is open on that lens, um, and an ISO 50. So there's our first variant, but let's let's create another variant, okay? So we go back to our original image, and let's do another new variant. So now we've got three images. Now with this next one, I think what I'd like to do is, let's desaturate slightly. So let's go in a sort of different direction. Let's warm it up. Okay, so let's make it much, much warmer in terms of the skin tone than what we just had. There we go. It's getting a little bit green. So to combat that, I might just play around a little bit with my tint. Oh, wrong way. Let's play around a little bit with the tint. There we go. Let's warm it up a little bit more. That's nice. That's very, very nice now. Uh, once again, I think I'm going to take a little bit of this sort of magenta color here out. And let's play with clarity. We'll go for a little bit of classic clarity. Now the skin tone, it's still a little bit green. I probably want to just desaturate it ever so slightly. So, so let's see where we are now. Same image again, but now we've got three examples or three interpretations of exactly the same image. And it's pretty amazing because they all look and feel very, very different. So you can have your art director saying things like, oh, I'd like it to be a bit more saturated. I'd like it to be a bit warmer. I'd like it to be a bit colder. It's up to them, okay? So we just say, okay, that's fine. We can do that. Have a look at this. And then often they'll they'll say that. They'll suggest all those things. They'll say, can I see it in black and white as well? Of course you can. That's no problem at all. So let's, let's do another copy of this. So we're going to do another new variant. Okay, so we now have a total of four variants on the same image. With this one, let's simply make it black and white. So Capture One have made it quite easy now. Boom. We've got a lovely black and white image, but let's let's give it a bit more, a bit more life, a bit more energy. So let's pump up the contrast in that. 
Oh, that's nice. And let's add a little bit of a vignette on this. Really sort of go for it. Yeah, okay. That is looking hot. It's the same frame, but what we've done is we've created different interpretations. Now, do you like the black and white one? Do you prefer the really blue tone that we've got here? Do you like this sort of slightly desaturated look or do you like the original one? It, it, it's really up to you. And this is the beautiful thing about variants. Now, the next thing you can do as well is you can actually rate them all differently. So if the art director picks a shot and says, oh, I like that shot, the variants can have different ratings so you can create smart albums that will only see certain looks or certain inter interpretations of particular shots. So that's a great example of what you can do with color, contrast, tone, all that sort of thing. Now let's imagine that the art director on the set has said, oh, you know what? I really love this blue look uh, that you've created. So let's go to that blue look now. Here it is here. But he says, you know what, Adrian? I'm not sure about the cropping. And you say, that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to then do is we're going to create some clone variants down here. So we get all of that color information to copy across with this. So you can see they're all identical. But let's say we want to crop and we want to present them with slightly different crops. Now, because I, I shoot medium format, we've got a lot of latitude in terms of the cropping. But let's start with something that's just very gentle and just crop in ever so slightly so something like that so let's imagine the client says oh i'd really like to see it vertically no problem at all then we can actually illustrate and give them and show them a vertical crop and then the client says well you know what let's just have the subject slightly off to the uh, left or the right and crop in really close to the eyes. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that as well. And then they might say, well, I'd, I'd really like to see a, a kind of square crop. So let's do a sort of square crop, something, something along those. This is just approximate. Move that across like, like that. Okay, and then we can have a look. Let's just choose another tool so we get rid of those crop marks. So once again, we've got the same image, it's got the same treatment, but we've created uh, four different crop styles. So there we are. As you can see on screen right now, we've got the same image presented in a variety of ways. We can even add one or two of these crop ones in and um, you can see even more variety with exactly the same image. Uh, which is just giving me, the photographer, the, the image creator, more choice. It's giving my clients more choice. Clients can see exactly what they're going to get before they get it. And variants are a very powerful tool that we've been using, well, ever since their introduction into Capture One. So thanks very much for listening and watching. And um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to email me and I'll do my utmost to respond. Thank you. Bye-bye.